Welcome to Go Ohio, sponsored by Adventure Subaru. Experience where you truly belong. Just turning 514 on your Friday, and if you've made your way to Sandusky recently, you may have noticed a national reserve called Old Woman Creek. Why the name? Well, this week on Go Ohio, meteorologist Matt Standridge takes us there to discover the name's origin and to find out what's so special about this place. Coastal Ohio is home to some pretty cool places to visit, including one of only two nationally protected estuaries in the Great Lakes. Welcome to the Old Woman Creek Estuary. So what is an estuary? Well, it's a mostly enclosed, tranquil body of water that brings in water from two very different sources and becomes a holding cell for this new water mixture. Saltwater estuaries are a mixture of ocean water and freshwater rivers, but the estuaries in the Great Lakes bring in lake water and river water, like this one, to create something completely completely new. We're standing at the overlook of the freshwater estuary, which is where Lake Erie combines with Old Woman Creek. However, the water here, its chemistry is different from either a lake or a river. Let's head to the coast. The barrier beach separates the two types of water, and you can see the difference from the air. Estuaries are important because they provide a sanctuary for many species of plants and animals because of all the habitats combined in one concentrated area, including sandy beaches, marshes, swamps, hickory oak forests, and small streams. This is the only nationally protected estuary along Lake Erie, and one of only two in the entire Great Lakes, 29 for the entire U.S. So one of the big questions left, why is it named Old Woman Creek? Well, according to the city of Huron, back in the late 1700s, a European settler from Paris came to the area and met and fell in love with the daughter of the chief of the local Indian tribe, which made the man who she was promised to quite upset, to the point where they try to kill each other. The daughter gets caught in the conflict and dies too. The next day, her mother was so upset that she drowned herself in this very river. Since then, the local Indian tribe called the river Minioto, which means old woman. Exploring the estuaries where you live, I'm 3 News meteorologist Matt Standridge. Wow. Well, the National Reserve offers guided canoe trips into the estuary, which you can sign up with a link on our website, WKYC.com. Holly, what a story there. I know, you, right? It's, it's, I feel like we're, we're finding more and more gems to explore here in Northeast Ohio, thanks to Matt. Absolutely. <laughs> and I will also tell you this. I have never heard the word estuary so many times in one, in one sitting. Right. We now know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what we do here. Right? We're, we're learning hey, hey, every morning. Every day, something new. <laughs> yep. All right.